Demario Davis, opportunity to share today at the Jefferson Parish Prayer Breakfast, and you relish those opportunities to to tell a story of of positive things, to tell a story of truth, to tell a story of being able to bring people together. That's your goal, right? Yeah. Um, I wake up every day with two goals, to know God more and to make him known. And um, when I think about my life and the transformation that he's allowed to happen in my life, I just want to be able to share that with others and hopefully it can impact others. But when you really get a chance to experience his goodness, uh, you want to share that with people. You know, you want to share it, um, you know, through, through speaking like this, but even more so you want to just share your life with other people and, um, you know, and help people. In a world with a spirit of divisiveness, how important is it to, to stress unity and to try to tell people that God loves everyone and that we all need to be serving each other? Well, the word says, you know, where there's unity, God commands a blessing. And <clears throat> I, I believe that people's ultimate desire is to dwell in harmony. And to get harmony isn't always easy. You got to work at it. You got to sacrifice. You got to compromise. Um, you have to be caring for other individuals more than yourself. But I think it's possible. And I think our, our, our nation and our communities can move towards that uh, when we just think less of ourselves and more about others. Football, of course, a lot of people are saying, oh, the Saints won't be a contender this year. They lost too many guys in free agency and un unable to afford people. You probably have a different message, right? <laughs> well, I've always been a guy, man. You know, the game is played inside the white lines. It ain't played on pins and pads. Um, you know, and it ain't played in, you know, that, uh, in talking, you know, it's inside the white lines and I'm excited for our team. You know, we got a, a lot of great players. We've had a lot of success over the past three years and it's been due to, uh, the great makeup of the organization. It's been due to the great coaches and it's been due to, uh, a lot of the players that are in our locker room currently. And so definitely excited for the challenge and the opportunity. You're confident in having a good running mate? With Quan, of course, going down last year with Anzalone gone and Zach a year older and then a draft pick as well. You confident in having a good running mate at linebacker? Yeah, I'm confident. Um, you know, I, firstly, I've always uh, just been confident in my abilities to do what I need to do to, to put us in a good situation from the linebacker position. Um, you know, who will line up beside me? I think, you know, Jerry's still out on that. That'll be up to the coaches. They'll figure that out. Um, but I know and I trust our organization that they'll put the best player in that position. And but overall, you know, our defense is sound. You know, we got a, we got a phenomenal defensive line, um, and coached by a great coach. Our linebacker position will be sound because you know uh, Mike Hodges has been uh, phenomenal since day one, um, and our back end is locked up. So I'm definitely excited for the season, and uh, we'll see when it all gets here. You've embraced the leadership role captain of defense, pregame speeches. Drew acquiesced to you gladly on that. Uh, now he's gone. You feel like there's even more of a void to fill with leadership? Uh, I don't know if it, it, there's ever been a void to fill. Um, you know, since I came into the locker room, the locker room has been filled with uh, great leaders, and, and, and we still have that um, now. Um, you got guys in the locker room like, you know, Teron or there. Uh, Cam Jordan, you got you know you got young emerging leaders, Marshawn Lattimore, Alvin Kamara, Ryan Ramchick. You know when you got a locker room filled with leaders, it makes leadership you know a whole lot easier. It's not on one guy to kind of do anything. Now I'm I'm more of the vocal leader, of course. <laughs> That's just because I like to talk a lot. But um, you know when it's when it's when it's time to go, you know I I, I know how to exhort my guys and and, and get them ready to go and. You know, and it's worked well for us, and we'll continue. Topic of all topics, I'll let you go in a minute with the proverbial quarterback question. It, it doesn't really matter which one. You just want someone to emerge and be that guy offensively, right? Well, I mean, you know, when you have an offensive uh, guru uh, coach like Sean Payton, he's going to he's gonna put the offense in the best situation to win. And so I have, you know, no worries, no concerns about what, what he'll do um, come that time. I know he'll put – Whoever's best that needs to be in at the right situation, we've <laughs> we've done you know multiple quarterback things. We've done you know we, we've had the legend back there, so he's gonna put us in the best situation to win from an offensive standpoint. Our job is to go get them the ball as much as possible so they can have as many chances as possible, and so uh, we should be straight from that standpoint. I know the answer, but last but not least, what's this team capable of in your mind? Oh man, uh, sky's the limit, and uh, every year we step into it. We step into it with a mindset um, 
We know what our end goal is, and that's the Super Bowl and nothing less. But you have to build it from the ground up. Every year, you got to tear it down and build it from the ground up. And so it starts with, you know, the great offseason that we had. Um, you know, as we get ready to roll into training camp, you start building, you know, adding bricks to that foundation you laid in the offseason. And you roll into preseason, and, and by the time game one, that's when you're trying to lay that first brick um, towards that mountaintop experience. Yeah, I know Drew keeps in touch with you. I know he relied on you a lot when he was here for personal advice and for friendship. Uh, you still keep in touch, and have you told him to say nice things about you on television? <laughs> I was just talking to Drew yesterday. I mean, we, we talk almost every day now because, uh, you know, we have a lot of off-the-field projects that we work on together. And so uh, we talk now more than <laughs> probably we did when we were teammates. And so uh, it's been good. So I'm excited for him and his future. Um, for him and his family, and uh, I know he'll be rooting for us. Mario, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, man. Be blessed.